Hi everyone, it is good to see you again. On the previous lesson, we have studied about some systems in our body. For today, we are going to continue the urinary system, circulatory system, and nervous system. Urinary system Do you still remember in digestive system? The useful substances will be circulated as the blood to our body. But before that, the substances will be filtered first by the urinary system. Kidneys maintain proper balance of water and minerals in the body. The kidneys responsible to filter and clean the blood. Each kidney receives blood from renal artery. The useful parts of food substances go to the circulatory system, while toxin and extra water remove as urine. The kidneys and urinary tract can be affected to many disorders, such as kidney stones that cause by too much calcium. This causing pain and often bleeding infection. Circulatory system When we experience something unusual or do healthy activities, our heart will beat faster. Do you still remember about the digestive, respiratory, and urinary system? The essential substances that we obtain from the food in digestive system are brought to the urinary system to be cleansed. The clean substances then enrich by the oxygen by the respiratory system and brought to circulatory system. Blood circulation is called as the circulatory system. The center of our circulatory system is called as the heart. When you touch your chest, when you're doing the healthy activities, doing healthy exercise, feeling unwell, feeling nervous, feeling or experience something unusual, you will feel your heart beats faster. Our heart pumps the blood to vessels in our body. The human heart chamber parts are the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. The blood that we obtain from substances of food that we eat in digestive system then becomes rich of oxygen by the help of respiratory system. The function of heart is started when oxygen needed blood is carried from the lungs to the left atrium to the heart through pulmonary veins. When the left atrium relaxes, the blood pumped into the heart. And when the left atrium contracts, the left ventricle relaxes simultaneously. When the left ventricles contract, they reach different parts of the body through the body vessels called arteries. The arteries bring the blood to capillaries which then reach the different parts of the body veins. The digestive system, respiratory system, 
urinary system and circulatory system work together to make the rich oxygen blood circulated to entire body so we are still alive nervous system our nervous system is the control center of our body our nervous system carries message to and from different parts of our body and controls activities inside and outside of our body our brain is part of our nervous system when we carry out an activity our brain sends message to tell different parts of our body what to do our neurons are protected by the skeletal systems billions of signals are sent through our body to help us understand what happens around us and to control activities inside and outside of our body this connects to our previous lesson about the sense organs please open again your textbook and the video if you already forget it Okay everyone, so today we have completed to study about the six human body systems. The first was the skeletal system, muscular system, digestive system, respiratory system, urinary system, circulatory system, And the last was about the nervous system. The entire systems in our body work together. Each organ system in our body is important in its own way. We need all of them to work together for our body to function properly.